So hello and welcome to today's video. Now today's video might be the beginning of a new series depending on how well this video is received. But basically, today we're going to be taking a look at all possibilities and outcomes for missions in Bully. Today's video is just going to be on Save Algae as the title says. And yes, I'm going to be using mods to sort of force some of these outcomes and possibilities. Now I just want to put a disclaimer here, do not expect anything like alternate endings because body isn't like that if that makes sense. Instead we're going to be taking a look at like what happens if so that you skip certain objectives or purposely avoid them somehow. So let's get on with it. So our first objective is to take algae into the school but when we walk down the stairs we're immediately attacked by Davis and some bodies. But what if we avoid this by taking the Harrington House route? Now as you saw at the beginning of the video there wasn't a fence there but there is now. Although it's a bit transparent, that might be due to the reshade I'm using, but nonetheless, a fence has been added there. And for some reason, it actually has a bit of a bug collision. But as you can see there, it's not as easy to jump over, and the camera sort of like, gets stuck. It's not entirely impossible to jump over as you can see, but for Algy, who's doing exercise for the first time in his life, it is. Luckily, this isn't Grand Theft Auto, so we can run off and we won't actually fail the mission by leaving him behind. Now one thing you'll notice that if you actually somehow skip this objective, none of the other clicks will actually spawn. You'll only see nerds and non-clicks around. For example, I'm in Harrington House territory here as you can see. We change the time to dinner time, but for some reason, they're just nowhere to be found at all. Now part of the reason why I think this is, is because Buddy has sort of like a ped spawn limit if that makes sense. Like, you know, it'll only spawn in a certain amount of pedestrians before it despawns or will not spawn anymore. And because the beginning of Save Algae has the bullies already spawned, you know, like um, Davis and the rest of the bullies, I think that takes up, I think it's like about seven or so, which leaves only a small amount of other NPCs. Although I will admit, it's a bit unusual when you don't have any greasers, jocks or preppies around. You don't also see any other bullies either. Well, you do, but only if you go near the library. And even when you venture into Bullworth Town or Old Bull Vale or anything like that, you do not see any, like, well, you don't even see any townsfolk around. You do in the cars, but you don't see them walking around. You don't see any police officers either. So yeah, I had to restart the mission because Algae triggered the fight with some bullies, which is why my outfit has changed. Now the second outcome we're going to take a look at is, what if you actually go straight to Algae's locker, without, like, doing any of the other objectives? So in order to do this, we're going to do the Harrington House route again, but this time we're going to go straight into the school. As soon as we enter the school, we can see our objective is placed outside. But if we go outside, our objective is placed inside. So basically, it seems like Rockstar purposely put this sort of fake marker here, which is completely unavoidable. So it sort of seems like the fighting bullies part is mandatory, you can't really skip it. As we can see, it's got the marker to say it's interactable, but we can't, like, actually do anything with it. Like, we don't get a prompt for it, and Jimmy can't open it at all. However, this locker we can go in, so it seems Rockstar purposely disabled that locker for the purpose of this mission. Even if we try to shove Algie in, he won't go in. Have you ever wondered where Davis comes from? But when the mission starts, Davis is placed right behind the, um... I don't know what you call it, pillar, something like that. So by the time we walk down the stairs, he's programmed to just walk right there, which sort of like goes in perfect timing, if that makes sense, with how, um, you know, just to attack algae. But as we can see, for some reason, they're just attacking Ernest. I think that might be because I edited the data files so the nerds automatically hate them. But even if we attack the bullies, they go straight to the red arrows, but we don't actually have the objective to like fight them. Although they still appear as red X's on our map. Let's see what happens when we knock them out. So if you knock out both of the bullies before you even touch Davis, Davis becomes invincible and you just cannot beat him at all, which means you either have to wait till 2am to pass out or let Algy get knocked out. And so begins our third restart of the mission. We're going to do it normally, we're going to fight Davis, but what happens if we actually knock him out before he runs off? Because after you hit him a few times he'll run off. It seems we sort of skip over that whole objective, but as you can see, we're sort of forced to fight the bullies as there's some down that way and there's others up the other way. 
so it seems like it's borderline impossible to actually skip the bodies. But, if we teleport inside the school, we can see that we don't actually have to fight them at all. I've already wet myself once this month. If I do it again, they'll never let me hear the end of it. So, let's see what happens when we take Algy to all the other toilets in the school. If we take him to the second floor, not second floor, I mean if we take him to the first floor boys toilets, we get this extra sort of objective. If Algy can be bothered to actually wobble his way down here. There we go. As you can see, we're forced to fight Trent and Troy again. Now I'll showcase this off in my attention to detail video, which if you haven't seen, basically all this objective is, just fight the bodies again, that's all. And then Algy goes to the toilet as normal. Or so you think, because he sort of moans about not having a lock. So let's see what happens if we take him to, say, the Greaser safe house toilet. Will Algy actually respond to this, or will he just sort of ignore it? As expected, he just ignores it. Let's give him a swirly. If you decide to take Algy to any of the girls' toilets, he will refuse to enter just by saying, no way, that's for girls. As expected, if you let the timer run out, Algy does an animation of him pissing himself, but he sort of does the bullying animation, which is a bit weird. Now one thing I've noticed as well is if Davis actually gets knocked out without you even attacking him, the objective will not progress. Like as you saw there, even though Davis went to attack Fatty, he should have attacked us, but because he didn't, he sort of glitched, disappeared, and much like the one we showed earlier, we've gone into a glitch state where we can't really progress on the mission because Davis hasn't attacked us. What actually happens if we run outside with the bullies chasing us? Do we sort of fail the mission for abandoning algae, or what? Well, as you can see, for some reason, Wade's up here, but um, Troy, I think, spawned down here. Uh, yep, there he is. And I'm an absolute tit, because I just realised I was knocking myself out instead of the others. Time for another restart. For some reason, we now have two Algernon spawning, and I don't know why. I don't know if that's just a glitch or what, but... Yeah, either way, we have two algaes. Let's put one in the bin. There we go. And Davis still attacks us because we actually triggered the event for once. So while we wait for algae to actually get here, let's open up the cubicle and see what these two are up to. Well, let's look over here first. But we can't because of the camera, so let's just open the cubicle anyway. And they're just standing there. And now, for some reason, we're stuck in here, so we can give Pedro a swirly. I've noticed for some reason, even though we're in here, algae still isn't coming in here. And I think we're glitched. Wait, no we're not, never mind. So here come the bullies, let's just sort of run away before they have a chance to find us. And yeah, for some reason they just go straight after Algy. Well that might be because my respect with the bullies, you know, because I'm doing this in Chapter 6, is 100%, so probably that. Although it's sort of interesting to see that, you know, they go straight for Algy rather than just attack me like they would do in Chapter 1. Because usually when you redo these missions, your respect with the click is what it would be normally if that makes sense so for this mission our respect with the body should be like well about 10 or something like that whatever it is at this point and for some reason we're also stuck here as well we can't actually get out so we're just gonna have to use this to knock Troy out and we're stuck in here in a cubicle of algae who is apparently having a piss even though he seems to be uh, not using the toilet because he's disgusting
I don't know what's causing this, but for some reason he's just completely like skipped over the, you know, washing his hands. Oh, never mind. He just seemed to have glitched for a second there. Now the thing with this is, um, this is something I do in every playthrough, but you don't actually have to wait for him to wash his hands. You just have to stand here and as soon as it's done, it will light up and you're done. That's it. So, yep, those are all the possible outcomes I could find for Save Algae. Um, I'm sorry if this video wasn't interesting. I just thought it'd be sort of like, you know, just one of those test ideas. I mean, if you do want to see more of these kind of videos, then let me know. If you don't, then fair enough. I can see why. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. My work here is done.